Good evening. So we have friends from, from the other parts of the world also. So they will be joining in since the morning there from Latin America, Jen. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so again, thank you. Um, this is just the basics of essential oils, essential oils 101. So what can you expect from, from this? Um, first, I'm going to tell you how I encountered essential oils, how I got introduced to that, to, to the essential oils. And then I'm going to tell you what is an essential oil, where is it from, how is it being processed. And then I'm going to show you also the basic essential oils, actually the first essential oils that I started with, and how I use them, what are their effects on me and my family, and um, yeah, that's it. And then I'm going to tell you also why I, I, I chose this particular brand and uh, why I, I, you know, I decided to start oiling. Okay, so okay, let's just start. So how I encountered essential oils, how, you know, like how I started using essential oils. So I started using it in 2017 last year. This February, you know, we came back here in February and then um, I only have a very small support group. Uh, these are the people, um, this, they are actually like alumni from the same university that I went to in college. So like we have the same mindset. And one of them is, um, I don't know if she's here. So it was actually Kathy. So she's a lawyer. Um, she's my high school classmate. And she was the one who introduced me to, to oils. The, you know, like we just went out. We just went to a restaurant. To, we, you know, we, we met up. And then she just said, you know, you like uh, mixing? I don't know, like would mix some oils. And then she brought also her diffuser like this, um, uh, like this, the diffuser. And then we diffuse in a restaurant and then we're mixing. And then she gave me mixes for, uh, that was for cough and for just sleep, okay? So I was just neutral at that time. It was just like, okay, right? But th that's good actually. But um, it was not on my priority list, okay? And it, you know, like, uh, I'm interested, but not that interested. And uh, because I had so many things on my mind at that time. And, and then Joss got sick. And it was just cough, you know, cough, but that didn't go away. It, it was there for, for, for a week. So I had to bring him to a doctor. And then the doctor prescribed him antibiotics. And it would be his first time to take that. I bought the medicine. I, you know, like, I... I bought everything that was prescribed to him, but I just couldn't give it to him because he's tiny and it would be his first time to take antibiotics. So I said, there should be, you know, a way, there, there should be a way to, you know, like to, to handle this. And then I remember the roller blend that um, Kat gave me, <clears throat> I think this one, okay, it's a very small but powerful one. It actually helped me when I had cough also. It made me sleep at night. So I said, you know, I tried this to Joss. I tried it on him and after two days, you know, the cough disappeared. So I said, you know, I would, I would get it. You know, I would, I would get the kit. So that's how it started. So I'll start with my own definition of essential oil. All right, so my definition of essential oil is, you know, a miracle in a bottle. For me, it's a miracle in a bottle, you know, like um, the, the, the thing that it can do to your body and to your wellness is just, you know, like it's just amazing. It's really a miracle. And for me, it's a blessing. And that's why I'm doing this because um, I felt that I've, I've been blessed with essential oils. And actually, my friend here, I wouldn't name her, but... You know, she, she told me one time that, you know, she she's tempted not to share it to people because she wanted to keep it to herself. You know, just like having a trade secret, you know, you have you get help with almost everything and people don't know and they would, you know, ask you how'd you do it. And it's like having your own trade secret. And we realize that if it's a blessing, the more you share it, the the, the, the faster it multiplies. Like it's a miracle in a bottle, it's a blessing for me. Okay, 
So what is it exactly? It's actually a volatile liquids and natural compounds found in all parts of plants and shrubs, flowers, trees, bushes. Okay, so volatile means it, you know, like it, it changes to gas in, you know, like very fast. Like see, for example, for example, peppermint, I need this now. Just drop it to your hand. One drop. I think that was two. And then cup it into your nose. And you can just inhale the aroma. And it's, it's, it's refreshing. Right? So, because it's volatile. And um, they are extracted through distillation or, or cold pressing. So there are actually different ways on how to extract them from plants. And there are many constituents in each uh, essential oil. So you know like uh, they have uh, um, 200 to 500 constituents and they're fat soluble also they could penetrate to blood and tissues and they're highly concentrated and potent 13 ml lavender 27 square feet okay of lavender so you know like you're putting a lot into that bottle it's concentrated and very potent okay so Many people will just say, maybe they'd say that it's just a fad, it's just now. People are just, you know, taking interest in essential oils now. But actually, it's not just now. Um, it's It has a long, long line of history. Hi! <laughs> okay? Ever since it's there. Okay? Because I told you, it's extracted from the plant, and the plant has always been there. Okay? And plants and humans, we have this, you know, like symbiotic kind of relationship. So we need them, plants need them. And it's not surprising that any part of the plant, when we use it, can also do well to our body. Okay? And historically, if you're a Bible reader, I'm not really that good of a Bible reader, so I will not go into that direction. But I think you have heard of essential oils like cedar wood, frankincense, myrrh, you know, being mentioned in the Bible. Okay, the, the, the three wise men, the gift to, 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 to you know, the gift that they, they offered, they, that was gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Okay, frankincense was actually in an incense form, which was the powdered form of the resin where we got the, where we got the essential oils from when we distilled it now. And then the myrrh is an in, embalming oil. Okay, so anointing oil have been mentioned in, in the Bible okay, several times. Yeah, and maybe I think we have Bible reader here who could attest to that, who could, you know, confirm that for us. Okay, so it's not just a fad. It has always been there. Okay, and it's proven. The use of essential oils have been proven. What makes essential oils special? Three things. Essential oil is potent, it's volatile, and versatile. Okay, so potent, I told you that, you know, like one 15 ml bottle of peppermint would need a pound of raw peppermint okay it's actually hundred to ten thousand times more concentrated than herbs and then it's volatile i mentioned to you it's it, it quickly changes from liquid to gas okay and versatile endless ways to use and apply essential oils just endless many many things it can actually you know address all kinds of systems in your body all the systems the endocrine system nervous system you know, um, it could address, you know, you could, essential oils could help you with, with your problems there. Okay, so where do essential oils come from? So we know that they are from plants, okay? They're actually from different parts of plants, depending on what kind of plant it is. So we could get it from the flower of the plant. We could get it from the flowering tops. We could get it from the fruit, for the rind, from the berries, from the grasses from the gum and the resin. So example of this is frankincense. It's actually from resin, okay? And then we could also get it from the leaves, from the root, from the seed, from the wood bark, all, you know, like um, all parts of the plants. Again, depending on what kind of plant it is. For example, the ilang ilang, okay? We got it from the flower. Uh, example is the, um, uh, for, for the citrus fruits, okay? For the citrus, the grapefruit. They're from the fruit or from the rind, okay? So depending on what kind of plant it is. So we extract the essential oils, and there are four ways. Extracting essential oils, the most common way to extract the essential oil 
is through steam distillation okay but there are also other ways other ways uh the the second would be cold pressing the resin tapping and the absolute oils the steam distillation is you know you we extract the uh, delicate materials through heat and pressure so we're not actually heating the plant we heat the water and then through the steam of the water um the you know the, the steam of the water would touch the plants and then it it it, it brings the oil you know it, it brings the oil up and then with the steam so the oil and the steam it goes up and it goes to a condenser the steam is being cooled down there and then after the condenser it flows through a separator so in the separator the oil would you know like would float and then the water would go down and those topmost oil or liquid is what we call as the the pure essential oils the pure uh, therapeutic grade essential oil and that's what we get okay because it's it's it, it doesn't have anything in there because the oil settled down the the water settled down so it's pure the water underneath it could also be used because it still has the scent of the flower or the plant where it comes from and it could be used for you know for beauty products for for those products that don't have concern about the therapeutic quality of that oil so it could be used in soap you know you have lavender soap even perfume shampoos you know we they could still use that other companies use that but for us for example we just use the top most okay and that's what we put in the bottle all right so that's steam distillation the other one is cold pressing and this is actually used for uh, citrus lemon okay used to extract fatty oils and citrus essential oils the cold pressing and then the next one is the resin tapping resin is tapped directly from a tree i don't know if you have seen a tree before a big tree okay i have i had i think <laughs> okay so you know it's a big tree when there's a wind in the tree you notice that uh it's like uh, there's a there's a it's it's not a liquid form but it, it looked like it used to be liquid you know because um, like a sticky form but it's solid it's gum it's the resin it's because when the when the when the tree is wounded you know the essential oils would go there to try to uh, to, to fix the wound okay so that is the resin that's what we tap we, we we take it and then from that we distilled it to become essential oils all right so frankincense is an example of that it comes from a resin okay and then the last one the absolute oil which we only use for one essential oil which is the jasmine so absolute oil is we use it for very delicate material like jasmine and there's no other way to extract the essential oils but by the use of solvents and then after the solvent okay and then we separate it and then we have the the, the pure essential oil also Okay, so but we only use it for jasmine all right so how can we use essential oils there are actually many ways to use essential oils three sorry not many but three okay so the first one I oh, thank you for the hearts the first one is topical okay external so what we can do is we have carrier oil or some some actually some um some is, oh, essential oils are actually safe to be used as neat neat meaning no just just pure essential oil you don't add add a uh, carrier oil so talking about carrier oils <clears throat> what are carrier oils these are actually fatty oils you know the the oils that you know we know that are greasy Essential oils are not greasy, by the way, and they are made up of tiny molecules. And these uh, carrier oils are made up of large molecules. Okay, so uh, example of carrier oils, I have here the virgin coconut oil. I got it from Mercury Drug. Mercury Drug, by the way, is the leading um, drug store in the Philippines. And then I have olive oil. The one that you can get from the grocery store and what else do i have i have castor oil cold pressed organic i got it from shopee and <clears throat> i have the sunflower which i got from human nature and jojoba also from human nature 
I think that's all my carrier oils. But you can have like sun, um, I have sunflower, uh, grapeseed, avocado, uh, so many kinds of uh, uh, carrier oil. So what you can do to apply topically is, see for example, we have a pump full of carrier oil like that. And then you just drop whatever um, oil you want to, you know, to apply to your body. Peppermint, for example. I'm overusing peppermint. And this is my favorite. Okay? And just apply it, you know? Apply it. Apply it like that. And some, because it would make our lives easier, we, we, we um, blend it in a roller like this. Okay, I don't have a... Like this one, okay? So what we do is just we drop essential oils and then what I do after, you know, mixing essential oils just to mix them like that and then top it with carrier oil. And then it's ready. You just have to, you know, roll it to this, to here. The soles of feet, the Vitaflex points here on your foot, okay, here, you, you, can, you can just apply it. And interesting thing is, I think I mentioned that essential oils are made up of tiny molecules, okay? So because it's so tiny, it can easily, uh, you know, pass through the skin, okay, through the barrier and into the bloodstream, the blood vessel. In just a matter of three to five minutes, it's already in your bloodstream. And then 20 minutes or so, the whole, uh, you know, system in your body is affected with the essential oil. So that's why the effect is fast. Okay. So my father, this, this, this essential oil pan away is really good for, for pain, you know, for body pain. She needs to keep herself awake. So this is good for body pain. And um, I've proven this myself. So I want to show it off to my father. So he had, you know, like pain here, like, like here, this part. So I said, I put this, put this. I said, no, I don't believe that. I have to take medicine. No, 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 take this. So I put it here. And then after a moment, you know, the pain was actually gone. I said, it's impossible. Why? He said, because you just put it in my skin. You know, it, it didn't go through. I mean, I, I wasn't taking any medicine. I said, I mean, that's the misconception. It's because it's just in the skin. You think it stays on your skin. So that's, what, that's why we have to be very careful in what we put on our skin. Because the chemicals that we put, you know, the, 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 the chemical components, we could actually get through your blood. So that's why you have to be very careful. And with the essential oils, you know, it's safe because it's natural, it's organic. Okay, and it helps you. And you know, the molecules of the essential oils are actually like uh, intellectual molecules. Because when you apply it there, like they go to, to where they're needed the most. Like, you know, oh, he's suffering pain here or... You know, the, the cells here are damaged. Let's go and fix. You know, like, they go. They go. They're just like like intelligent molecules. So, yes. So, topical through the skin. And remember that skin is the largest organ in our body. And whatever we put on our skin can be absorbed. And if it's an essential oil, it can be absorb, absorbed very fast. All right? Okay, so the second one is inhalation. Um, aroma. Yeah, I, I I showed you before the peppermint, you know, inhale it, aroma, or just, you know, sniff it from the bottle, okay? It can, peppermint could, yeah, could, could perk me up, actually, it's true. Lemon can refresh me, you know, it's a refresh, refreshing scent, and, uh, yeah, and you could also, uh, the easiest, I think, you could also put it in an inhaler. I had it. The easiest would be just to put it in your diffuser. So it's the, the aroma, you know, you could, you could actually feel the aroma. I have this personal diffuser, which, is, which I find very helpful. So there, it's so instant, you know, I can feel the aroma of the essential, whatever essential oils I'm putting. Some even use this as a, what do you call it, tranquilizer? Yes, so very useful. And then the third one is ingestion, internal. Yes, because essential oils are pure, it's actually safe for you to take them in. Okay, so I I also mentioned that I like peppermint in my coffee. And right now I was having, um, no, earlier I had a, 
I had a tea with, with, with honey and I put some drops of lemon in it. And it's, it's refreshing, it's nice. You could put it also in your water. You drop in your water and you're cooking. If you cook, uh, you can add it. Uh, I think I posted ones that uh, are help uh, cook to Dinola. You know, like, like a dish that needs to have lemongrass in it. And she forgot to put one. So what I did is just drop the lemongrass essential oil in. You know, it turned out good. And, okay, also there are essential oils that are, you know, the taste is not that good. And if you put it on your water or or in your coffee, you know, you might not be able to take it. So there is actually vegetable capsules like this one. What you can do is just open this, of course, and then drop the essential oil. And you can also top it with carrier oil. I use olive oil. Of course, you can you can uh, drink this up. With, I mean, you can take this in because this is the same oil that you use with your salad. And close it and then drink it. It's as if it's a capsule, but it's a, it's a, you know, like a, uh, a nice kind of capsule because it's a, it's synthetic free. It's a chemical free. Okay, so, so those are the the, you know, the ways that you can use essential oils. Three ways, and of course you have to be, uh, you have to be also careful. There are essential oils that are considered to be hot essential oils, and for those essential oils, that's what. You know, that's when you need the the carrier oils the most okay because you might have like a reaction when you put it directly to your skin so it's better to dilute it with scent with with carrier oil okay um, there are actually many essential oils in the market okay? they're actually spreading okay? many kinds of essential oils but how do you act actually choose it uh, for me, I think um, I, I choose I choose why why I choose what I'm using right now. It's basically because of the uh, uh, seed to seal promise that we have. Okay, so what is the seed to seal promise of Young Living? It's actually um, they they control the they control the quality of the oils that they're producing from seed <laughs> seed to seal. Um, Young Living has actually its own farms. In Utah, they have a 1,400 acres of lavender farm where anyone could go. Maybe you need an appointment or something, but it's in the United States. So I wanted to go there, but, uh, you know, like anyone could go there and then witness the process. You could actually, part, uh, you know, you like see how it is being processed from seed to seal. The seed from the selection of seeds to cultivation to distillation to testing and then to sealing. Okay, so they maintain the quality they oversee the quality and it's very easy for them to maintain and oversee the quality because it's happening in their turf okay so they have their own farm they have their scientists they have everything and they have you know like they have been doing that for 20 years so experience matters okay so uh again uh they have also farms so they know the quality of the plants that they're getting their essential oils from and it's also very important. Why I am sharing this, okay, I mentioned also earlier that it's because I felt that I'm blessed with the essential oil and I want to share it to, to the people that I know. As a matter of fact, my father is already using, he has a kit. My two brothers, my older brother, my younger brother, they have their own kits also. And uh, you know, like, because, you know, when you feel like you have something really good going on, you wanted just to share it to people that you know and you wanted the people to experience the same. That's what I'm feeling with it right now. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's really something that is good. You know, like, it's, it's a blessing for me. And I want that to, to share it with everybody. Okay, so, um, before I end, I'm just going to show you the, the several essential oils, the, the essential oils that got me started. The 11 essential oils, which is part of the starter kit that I got, and how I started with it. Okay, so I already mentioned the peppermint. So this is my favorite. It keeps me awake and alert. And I like the taste of it in my coffee. Okay, so this when when Joss also had fever, I alternated it with lemon. Okay, and she didn't he didn't take any medicine. <laughs> he didn't take any medicine. He doesn't like it. Okay, so lemon, peppermint, and lavender. Okay, so 
Lavender is the Swiss knife of the essential oils because you can use it with almost everything. It's good for the skin. It's uh, it's relaxing. It actually makes uh, people sleep. It it I used to dislike the 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 smell of lavender, but it's it's growing on me now. And you know I actually like it. It's very relaxing. Okay, and uh, it's very safe for a two-year-old. I always use it to you know to 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 Joss. When when he had fever, um, I, I I sponge bath him with lavender. Okay, just with lavender, and then lemon, of course, refreshing. Jen, um, yes, you use it with water. It's really nice. You can also try it with your tea, and uh, yes, uh, I like this. Uh, I think I had consumed two or three bottles of this one, and I use it because I alternated it with peppermint when Joss had fever. Okay, so these are the single blends. Okay, so we have three. And then the next one, the single blend, is the frankincense. Oh, right. Very precious oil. And it's really good for the skin. I actually added this to my toner. And right now, I, I switched to, um, to, to, to a homemade toner. Okay, so like witch hazel and then some essential oils. And frankincense is really, you know, like the... The main ingredient there and it, this is really good and uh, I rolled it to, to Joss also every day and I think I think that's what makes him very talkative I just think you know the frankincense because it, it gives you a, a feeling of grounding um, it actually has a good set a uh, good scent you know for me you know when I, I smell it it makes me feel like I'm a good person it feels me like I'm in the church very very nice scent and then the, the next one is the Cupaiba I don't know if Echna is here Echna this is actually from Brazil from Brazil okay so I just discovered it recently because um, I, I knew this is a magnifier uh, essential oil meaning if you add it with other essential oil the the effect of that essential oil would be magnified with Cupaiba but this is also good for pain management Okay, for pain management and uh, yeah, for pain management and, and respiratory also, Copaiba is very good. Okay, so those are the single blends, and uh, the 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 blend. Okay, this is Panaway. I said Panaway is really good for pain management, migraine. It's as effective as 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 Advil. Okay, and body pains. You could use this it's it's really working you know I, I bet you this really worked like my father sold you know uh, I, I you know like my father got sold to essential oils because of Panama and then I have here the uh, purification uh, it has a lemongrassy uh, lemongrassy scent and if you want to purify the air and you know like to eliminate bad odor you can just put it on your diffuser and you know it will be It'll be, you know, like it, it smells, it smells good. Lemongrassy smell. You could also use it in your honey, uh, sanitizer uh, spray. Okay, so it's good. Yeah, me too. And we had free friend. <laughs> okay, and digest. Bloating. Anything about stomach. Bloating. Uh, digestive, new digestion problem. Um, even hangover. You know, it's it's good for hangover though. I haven't I haven't tried that, but I have heard it's really good for for hangover. And um, I always uh, Joss is very sensitive stomach, so I always put it on his belly button every after bath. Okay, uh, before I, I I used to do it with uh, with manzanilla, a siete de manzanilla, but now I'm replacing it with a diluted um, digest. Okay, so very good for your stomach. Every day I use it for Joss. And then I have RC, okay, respiratory support. It has eucalyptus, different kinds of eucalyptus in it. And it's very, you know, very, uh, very nice. If you have cough, you could just, uh, maybe I need this. Wait. Okay, I can just like that and then drop and then apply it. Oops, sorry. No, I cannot get it okay all right and then the next one is 
stress away. So what I did with stress away is just put, uh, this is a new one, but I had one, I put a, a roller on top and then just, you know, like, uh, uh, roll it to wherever, to, to here. It it's really calms me down. If I'm, I'm in a bad mood and about to explode, which happened a lot before, I just use this and it, it actually helps. You know, it, it, it calms you down. Uh, this and lavender, if you combine them, you know, combine the two, is good for a sleeping, you know, sleeping problem. It would make you sleep good. Okay? And then, uh, thieves. Yeah, thieves. It's actually the name uh, because uh, the thieves is inspired by the thieves, you know, in, in I think it's the 15th century in Europe. You know, when there's a plague there, uh, there are robbers that are, you know, like uh, stealing from dead bodies and dying people. And for them to be able to not to catch the diseases, okay, and to be healthy, they apply uh, clove spices, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, and orange. And those are actually the ingredients in thieves. Okay, so with this, actually, with this 11 it got me started and it got you know like me believe that essential oils are really working okay, so i think um that's it i was just happy to share it to you and thank you so much if you have questions and anything you know i'm very happy to share everything that i know of about essential oils uh, it's a learning process also i i read a lot and i'm learning and there are people who are actually helping me also and I'll be willing to share it with you if you really, you know, if, if you wanted to know more. Okay? All right. So thank you so much and have a nice evening for for those in the Philippines. And tomorrow is Monday. Okay, another work day. So, um, yes. Uh, have a good night's sleep. And for the ones in Latin America, have a good Sunday morning. Bye, guys.